Alright, hi, hello guys. So today I decided that I'm going to make a video on how do you set up MP Lab correctly. Alright, so as usual, what we do is go to MP Lab IDE. Alright, so things like this will appear. Okay, so before we start writing up, there are two things that we need to configure. First, we need to create an ASM file. So, and second, we need to create a project and put that ASM file into that project. So these are the two things um, we need to do. Okay, so to create an ASM file, so click on File, New, or you can just click on this icon here, New. Okay, so a text editor like this will appear. All right. so what we want to do is go to File, and Save As. Okay, so you want to save it somewhere, you want to save it to somewhere that you can easily find. So I'm going to save it on my desktop, create a new folder for that, and just say uh, any. Uh, so let's say the folder name is tutorial, I'm going to save everything inside here. And we need to specify a file name for this, alright? So my file name will be. Tutorial.asm. So this is imp the important part actually. So the .asm is a must. So you need to make sure your file name is something something .asm. Okay, click on save. So done for step one. So yes, but we are not uh, ready to write the code yet because we need as uh, a project to actually include that ASM file. So for that, step two, what we do is go to project, project visit, and yes, click on next. So this is where you select the device. So I will highly recommend you select this device, PIC18 F4550. So the reason is that um, this is the device that we'll be using um, throughout uh, next semester. So for your next semester, you'll be using this uh, in your uh, micro p lab so it'll be good if you can select this but if you want to select anything other than this it's also fine All right so click on next and next again okay now here we need to specify the project name the name of the project so before that we need to click on browse and we browse to the place that we save the asm file so in my case i save my asm file in the folder called tutorial it's placed in desktop so double click in there so now i need to type in the project name so the project name is you can put any name it's, it doesn't need to have the same name as the asm file so my project name is maybe my project and for this you don't have to uh, to have any sort of extension behind it so just click on save okay and click on next all right and when we come to this step, we need to add the .asm file that you have created earlier inside this project. So for that, you go to the place that you have saved your .asm file. So in my case, it's here. Click on that. Click on Add. Okay. So click on Next. And Finish. Okay. So now we have actually done configuring our MP lab and we are ready to write the code but where do we write the code alright so it's here if you double click on the .asm file right here and the text editor will, will appear this is where you write your code okay include mp inc okay next uh, So I'm just going to write the program template over here. So go to start or G zero from intro or G zero one eight. So I expect you guys to actually memorize this template because it's going to be used every single time. So I've written a program that does nothing because 
knob is no operation it means no operation so this program does nothing so just for the sake of showing you guys I'm going to build this program so click on any of this so once we see build succeeded like this meaning to say our program is good we don't have any syntax error in the program and we can continue to write the program alright so I guess now that's all for uh, setting up the MPLAB now I hope that you all will uh, continue to work and continue to code more in MPLAB in order to get yourself familiar with uh, the software okay alright that's all for now thank you